Before I show you how I catch clams, let me show you what rake I use for digging these clams. This is just a simple garden rake you can get at your local hardware store. I got mine for, from Bymart. And uh, they're pretty easy when, it, when you have this rake. This rake works best on like really soft bottom, like a sandy bottom or, or mud. If you're climbing in an area that has a hard bottom, like uh, where there's rocks or hard clay, then it's not gonna work very well because the tine doesn't dig in easily. The tines are about three inches, so it's about the same depth as where these clams live. You'll know you found a clam when you uh, feel and hear that sound of metal scraping against concrete. Once you feel it, you just try to go over it several times and try to pry it up. Two feet here. Is that rocks? All right, good sign right here, man. Good sign. good sign that's a lot of shells all right I'm gonna jump off uh, guess we can leave the boat here yeah just throw the anchor out well, that's it. it's all right I'm gonna stay close That, camper maybe? That's a butter. Butter? That's a nice butter clam. There we go. Dang. Found that right up here. Good job. Yeah? Yeah, we might want to bring that to I'll throw the anchor down and just walk up here. Okay. Huh? That lazy one over here was combing all of this. Okay. I'm gonna pull the boat up. That's a big one. All right, anchors out. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> My very first cockle, guys. Look at that giant clam. That, are you alive, buddy? Yeah, he's alive. Big old cockle clam, oh my lord. Okay, I got um, one here, so I got 19 more to go. That's a big one. Okay, there's another one, I think. Right there. Right there. Very good size. Just finding, so far in this hole, I found two, two good size. one there. I thought I felt one. Is that it? <sighs> yeah, there's another one. Beautiful looking clams. Nice. 
There's another one guys. Don't know if you can see that. Right there. There it is, number three. All right, number three guys. There it is, number four. 16 more to go. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this one. This is, this is probably about eight ounces. Man, that is just phenomenal. Awesome. Is that one underwater? See that? I think there's one underwater right there. So let me show you what that's going to look like underwater. This one I didn't have to dig for. He was uh, right on the surface, right right underground, right on the sand, just laying there. That's a that's a good size. Ooh, there's another one. There's another one right there. Another nice one. They are just all over this tidal flats. Oh, there's another one right there. See that? There we go. Number, I see the number five or number six for me. That's a good one. Okay, I felt something right here. I felt my brake hit like a rock so oh my lord that's a big one holy cow look at that see that right there underwater let me show you okay there's one right there see it I don't know I don't know if you guys can see that but it's right there so let me just kind of bring it up. Look at that. Look at the size of that clam. Holy cow. So definitely the biggest of the day right here. I would say about seven to eight ounce. That's a huge one.
Whoa, there's one. That's another nice big one. Right there. Right there. Yes, sir. I think that's number 16 for me. Four more to go. What in the world is that? Holy cow. What is that? That is one big snail. Jeez. Whoa, look at the size of this one, guys. Holy cow. Look at that. Jesus. That's almost one pound. Big clams or what? My Lord. Oh, here's a good one. Oh yeah, holy cow. Look at the size of that dude. Wow. I saw him surfing his siphon right on the surface. Look at the size of that, guys, that's big. Man. 18. I got two more to go. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yep, there's another one. There you go. Right there. Oh, holy cow, man. I'm done. Holy moly. Look at, look at that. That is awesome. Just check out all those people clamming, guys. This is the main channel right here. And you see people drop their crab pots. On the other side, there's more people clamming. Okay, all along there, they're all dotted. I don't know if you can see it with this GoPro, but look at that group over there, look at that. There's just so many. When the tide falls, um, this bed, this clam bed is exposed. And that's where they're catching clams, right on this bed. And you can only reach this sandbar right here on a low tide. And today it's a negative tide. So that's why all these people are out here. There it is, guys. Just check out that size right there. That's about almost four inches across. This one's even bigger. That's about four and a half inches across right there. These are big clams. All right guys, there it is. With this one, that's my limit. 20 clams. All right, guys, there is my catch right there. That's 20 cockles. I got my limit. Um, I got that in about 30 minutes, probably not even that. Okay, so those are pretty good size, just to give you an idea. So there's my hand right there, okay? Look how big they are. These are gonna be good eating. I'm gonna take it home and cook it up. Well, actually, we're gonna clean it first. So when you come in here, when you're trying to uh, dig for these cockles, the uh, best way is just use a, a rake. 
and uh, this is just a normal uh, garden rake right here okay you can get these at Home Depot or you know at your local hardware store and you just kind of dig into the sand like that and when you feel it you're gonna feel it scrape against a shell okay and then you know that's a clam so that's how you get them and uh, they're pretty easy to find they're about maybe two to three inches below the uh, surface okay so here they are right here so I got one on the two on the ground so there it is okay guys awesome hey thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video and uh, I'll see you next time have fun fishing tie lines okay so let me show you how to clean these clam really quick first you want to boil some water and once the water is boiled uh, drop in your clams Once it pops open, immediately rinse it in cold water or put it in an ice bath. Okay guys, there's a clam, so um, just rinse it out with cold water. And there's the um, clam itself out there, there's all the meat. Okay, it comes right off just like that, it's pretty clean. So, and then what you want to do is kind of open that up, pull that back, and you can pull all that stuff out. Okay, so, okay, there's our two, uh, two muscles that hold the uh, shells together. And you just want to cut this part. This, you don't want to eat, okay, that clear stuff. Want to throw that away. And you want to remove all that brown stuff. Anything dark color you want to remove. The other abductor muscle is attached to the zipper-like meat. Same thing here, remove any dark stuff and you only want to keep the abductor muscle and the uh, two zippers. And that's what it looks like after you clean it. Now, it's very important that after you clean everything, just put all the meat in a bowl. And very, very crucial that you rinse all the meat out. You rinse every single one out. And you make sure all that brown stuff, all the guts is rinsed out. You can also cut the clam meat into small chunks for clam chowder. There are many ways to cook these clams. I just use Old Bay breading. And then I pan fry it in butter. That's about it guys. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends and thanks for watching.